Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are working on legs. I've got four exercises picked out for us. You're gonna need a pair of ankle weights and we are also gonna need a yoga mat. All four exercises are gonna be done on the mat. We are going to be using repetitions for these exercises. Before we get started, don't forget, January's calendar is available. Click the link in the description box down below and sign up for your calendar and let's get started. Okay, first off, we're gonna do a little bit of core and legs at the same time. This is one of my favorite exercises. So here, we're picking our legs up and we're in the hovering position, nice 90 degree angle. Try not to keep your legs too tucked by your body. You wanna be just about there so you can feel the tension in the quads because you're holding your legs up with these weights. We're going to come down and tap and bring our leg right back up, okay? Back is flat on the ground. We're not arching or pulling from the lower back. We're using our legs and our core. So you should feel it here and you should feel it here, okay? We're gonna do three sets of 12 and let's get started. Give yourself 10 second rest. You can feel it so good in the core and in the legs. This is such a killer sword. All right, moving into set two. Pick those legs back up. And don't forget you guys, breathing. If you don't want to create tension in your head and get headaches. Keep your core nice and tight, that's five. there. Great job. Give yourself 10 seconds. All right, guys, last set. Bring your legs up. Let's get this. Let's finish strong. Great job, that's so good. Give yourself 10 seconds or 20 second rest. While you're taking your break, I'm gonna show you our next exercise. So in this position, kind of like you would sleep like a baby, curled up in a little ball. We are going to do some leg raises. So these are abductions. We're going to lift and lower, just like that. We're not doing the clamshell, so we're not keeping the foot down. We are picking the entire leg up and the foot, just like that. So here we're working the thigh, we're working the side, we're working the front, and we're working a little bit of the hamstring and of course the glute right here, and a little bit of the lower back. Just make sure you keep your lower back nice and flat. Core is tight, and this is the motion, picking the leg up and lowering it back down in a controlled way. So you just wanna let your leg fall. Okay, we're gonna do three sets of 12 on each side. Let's do the first side. One side first, then we'll go ahead and switch sides. So all three sets here first. Let's get started. So this is a great exercise if you have cellulite or if you have any type of looseness, jiggliness, and the sides of your legs here along with the back hamstring area. It's not so much on the inner thigh. This is all outer thigh and you're gonna feel the burn. Four more. Great job, one more. Great job guys, take a 10 second rest. I know you're feeling that all right here. You're gonna feel it up here too, along 
with the leg. You're gonna feel it in your glutes. All right, moving into set two. Great job, you guys. Ten second rest. All right, let's get our last set and then we're gonna go ahead and switch legs. 12 here, 12, 11, 10, nine, you got this, eight, seven, six, five, four, almost there, three, two, almost there, and one. Good job, you guys. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Break. So we're basically doing like a laying fire hydrant, right? So two. guys 10 second rest we got one more set of 12 and we're moving on all right let's get it last 12 four five on your knees six some hope tonight seven put your hands up you Eleven. Never know you. Never know. Twelve. Great job, you guys. Give yourself twenty seconds. While you're taking your rest, I'm going to show you this next exercise. So coming in to this position where the fire hydrants would be, we are going to extend the leg and we're going to do small circles, just like this. Okay. We're going to be doing leg circles. And we're going to be doing it with our leg extended. So sometimes you would see this motion, the leg circle. We are going to be extending our leg all the way out and doing the leg circles back here. So this motion right here is mostly for the glute. You can feel it mostly in the glute. But we're going to be doing these ones because it's mostly felt in the legs and they're mostly for the legs. So extending your leg all the way out, keeping your back nice and tight. You don't want to do too much of that. Keep your core tight, your back straight, and we're going to be small circular motions, controlled motions, you guys, right here. This is gonna tone up this entire area and the entire area right here, too. So we're gonna do three sets of 10 each leg. We're gonna go one, two, break, one, two, break. You know what I'm saying? Let's get started. Great job. Go ahead and switch. If you're really can move the highest mountains, cross the greatest oceans, walk across the water, the water. Believe you can move the highest mountains, cross the greatest oceans, walk across the water. If you believe you Great job. Give yourself 10 seconds.
Moving into set two. Good job. Other leg. They say that all you need is faith, but it's almost like you lost your way. Take a few wrong turns, take a few breaks. Pull them behind now, looking for grace. Cause you need someone to lift you up, yeah. Make right all the things you've done. Cause on your own, you'll never know. Great job. 10 second break. Last set. Other side. Great job. So laying back on our side, take 20 seconds to take a rest. We're going to do leg lifts. So extended leg lifts here. So just like this, we're going to be bringing our legs up and back down just like this. So we're getting the whole entire leg here. We're also getting a little bit of that inner thigh. Let's take this 20 second rest and we're gonna do three sets of 10 on each side. And then we're done for the day, you guys. Good job today. Remember, something I'm guilty of is letting my front, my upper body lead forward too much. We wanna keep our bodies pretty aligned in this exercise. I find sometimes I go forward I don't know what it is, but be mindful of the position of your upper body here because you want to be in a straight line. Okay, let's get started. Three sets of 10. flexed as you're doing the workout you're gonna feel this whole area get tight moving into set two we have ten here on both sides see the flex in the leg here flexing those muscles that's three four five six seven eight nine and great job moving over Take 10 second rest. So remember, it's not about how high you can kick your legs up. It's just about getting the leg, maybe. So we're not really focusing on coming all the way up here, right? We're focusing on about half of that, flexing this muscle, keeping it engaged, doing it right, and coming back down. So here is about a good amount of work for the body. So if we were gonna kick our legs all the way up, we'd be focusing more on the glute, gluteus medius here on the side. But since we're just focusing on the legs here, we just really need about this much tension and come back down. So I don't want you to focus on kicking your legs super high and you're not getting it and it's uncomfortable and you're feeling pain. Don't worry about that. We've got 10 more on each side and then we're good for the day. So let's get started. Two, three, four, five, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Go ahead and switch sides.
guys great job today don't forget cool off i will leave a lower body stretch on the screen right here so you guys can stretch it out give yourself a pat on the back good job today don't forget january's calendar is available in the link in the description i'll see you in the next video bye